think this place is a lot more used to foreigners. I know. Yeah. Can I see your drink? Drink. That was so aggressive. We're doing laundry right now, so we're running out of clothes. Now it's been over a week. So the cool thing about Japanese washing machines is that they automatically wash and dry for you and they provide detergent and softener for you already. Oh my god, we just found a Japanese grocery store when we were trying to find a konbini. And oh my god, look, look what's behind me. Look at all of this goodness. They just have a whole wall full of takeout food. Like my Japanese market is, they don't even have a corner of what this place has. I don't know why some parts like this, these eggs and gyoza and meat, they're not refrigerated. So that's like a little bit concerning. Oh yeah, this is what we got so far. Hot water, of course, because you have to stay hydrated. I, of course, got a lot of sweets. And like, sushi. Like this. I, like, I bought this strawberry pudding because it looks so good. Dang, matcha dango. Which one looks the juiciest? Like this one back here. Here's the snack haul. <laughs> What's up? Yeah, my friends are really excited to start digging in. I haven't eaten anything substantial all day. <laughs> and this is not this is still not substantial. Kukia. Uh, Matcha kukia. What is this accent? Oh, stop being racist. No, it says kukia. It really oh, says kukia. What do they do? <laughs> For like dinner. I like pistachio chocolate. I love the texture. It's like pistachio like? ice cream. How is it? It's good. So tiny. Mm -hmm. I have udon finally. And this is tuna sashimi. That is so good. Garlic rice, miso soup, and French toast. Hello, it's Saturday today. Um, we are going to a cosplay event in Tokyo Tower. Me and Lily. But this will be my first cosplay event in Japan. So I'm really excited to see the differences between cosplay culture between Japan and in America. And we have yet to change because one of the rules here is, is that you shouldn't be wearing cosplay out in public because it's just kind of like indecent in a way. Yeah. So they have locker rooms where all the ladies and men can change over there. So we brought this big old suitcase with our cosplays in it. Or at least most of my cosplay, so we can change <laughs> over there. Lily is wearing um, Nazna from. I'm Korea. wearing everything but the top. Like, yeah, you know, so it's not that. And the wig. So for me, I'm wearing a, like a poofy dress. And Mona from Genshin Impact, um, the maid version. Excited, also a little nervous. We're like really late into the day. <laughs> we have like another event to go to after this, so I feel like a little bit rushed and stuff. But we'll see how it goes. The Kosan event was very different than the cosplay events in the US since this event is mixed in with the public. So the rules were more strict and your cosplays had to be extra modest like wearing safety shorts, no cleavage, shoulders, stuff like that. We came pretty late and the tower was very crowded and dark so it was difficult to take photos. It wasn't a social event at all. Most came with their own friends and photographers so honestly I was feeling very self-conscious in my outfit and covered myself with my jacket. I think in the future, I would be more excited to go to an event like Comic Kit, where you're more free to wear whatever you like.
Holy shit, there's so many of them. They have like, like... I know we're probably not supposed to film in here, but it's the perfect place for my cosplay. Ooh, I found it! Cute. Free her. Oh, God! Bear. What is that? Wait, what is this? You know exactly what it is! Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, she's pink. Oh yeah, that's why I'm that's why I'm filming. Oh no, she looks tall. She's a, she's a fairy. Oh no. Oh my god. She's an elf. <laughs> what she's blue. Show me your technique. How would you do it? No. I went out and got a tattoo. Check that out. Oh my gosh. Cherry blossoms. It's fresh. Oh, and, and it connects to the neck too. Yeah, that's so cool. She touched up the one behind my ear that Tina did, so it matches. Oh wow, mm. that's awesome. We we fucked up and missed our shinkansen, but it's okay because I got us a hotel and now we're drunk. We're at an izakaya right I'm now. Fine. <laughs> this is our second cup of sake, and like Lord knows, we really need it right now because today was really stressful, especially after we found out Look that. Look at my hives. <laughs> today was really see. fucking stressful. You can't even. Today sucked. But we had a lot of fun, and we're staying another night in Osaka because we didn't get to see enough of it. So it's yeah, fine. this is what happens when out. you miss your train because you spend too long. And yeah, make sure if you're looking at train <laughs> schedules, make sure it goes all the way back to your destination and doesn't stop at fucking Nagoya. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still coughing too, so this is a, it's been a really rough trip. Yeah. Um, but we're trying to survive here, and I mean the food definitely helps. The sake is doing us really good right now. We got this waitress uh, at this izakaya, and she is the sweetest person ever. She just seems like an anxious mess, and I love her. And she doesn't know how to speak English, but that's okay because I was—I've been translating, and we just ordered random shit. Yeah, she's super hyper, and she's like so sweet. Yeah, yeah. People here in Osaka are really a lot nicer than in Tokyo. That's she, like what she, she made said. small talk with me. She was like, "Oh, I really want to like." go to Disney in Los Angeles and, and like that's something that would never happen in Tokyo like the, the, the waitress would never talk to you like that so I think yeah, people are just a lot more chill here what we ordered well it's all gone now but it all went to her stomach like that was full the last time I remembered it and then the moment I looked there again it's just it's gone what happened I'm a pocket dimension so this is sashimi this is sea bream but I don't really, I'm not really fond of the texture nor the taste. I really don't know how to describe the taste, but it doesn't taste fishy to me. It's not very tender, so I wasn't too much of a fan of that. Hello, we made it to our hotel room. Here come pie, bitch. We have our own beds. We got strong zero. Oh! We are drinking tonight. Come pie. Come pie. First time trying strong, strong. First time trying strong zero. It's tasty. Mm. You can't even taste the alcohol. It's yeah. dangerous. Where's the alcohol? It's really dangerous. This is just lemon soda. Mm. It's nine percent. Come pie.